Well, there we got some images of the Sea Women's Tennis Team in action against Baylor here in Boulder over the weekend. In fact, they had two matches, one against Baylor on Saturday and one against, one against uh, Gonzaga on Sunday. Had been on the road, but first time they've been here in Boulder. Anthony Pham joining us here in the Buffalo Stampede, voice of the boss, Mark Johnson. Oh, good to be uh, playing tennis in your home court, huh? Absolutely. No, we're, uh, obviously we were, we were preparing for it. We've had to deal with some uh, adversity, unfortunately, to start the year, but um, yeah, I know that the, the ladies were excited to play at home first so, time. 5-2 decision against the Buffaloes with Baylor. 5-2 win over Gonzaga. Take us back to Saturday a little bit about uh, your match with the Bears. Yeah, uh, Baylor is a you know, well-respected, well-established program. They're uh, ranked 25 in the country right now. We had plenty of opportunities. Uh, number one doubles. We had a match point. Their, their number one doubles team is ranked two in the country. So, okay. uh, unfortunately, we uh, you know, ended up losing the doubles point. But you know, I told the, the group afterwards, it's it's one of those things, hopefully, it's kind of building some belief in the group that uh, we're right there with some of these teams. Yeah. Playing one of the toughest teams in the country, obviously right up the top there for the first home match. Okay, take us to Sunday then against mm -hmm. Gonzaga. Yep. Much better outcome, pretty good uh, effort by your team. Yeah, same thing. You know, we've talked about just kind of, uh, you know, growing, progressing from match to match, and, and we definitely saw that from the match on Saturday to the match yesterday. Uh, we had, uh, it was, you know, complete performance from the team where we won the doubles point and you know, won four of the six singles points, so uh, really pleased with the effort. Right. The team is showing some nice promise here early on. You happy with kind of the results at this point? Yeah, I mean, you could you always wish you, you won, you've won all the matches you've played, but like I said, just from a, a, um, a growth standpoint, from the first match we played to yesterday, we're definitely seeing some progress and some growth in the team, so that's, that's great. All right, got a lot of Buffalo is uh, getting their tennis season underway. Over the weekend, by the way, kind of an interesting match for lacrosse as they got things underway. Taking on Louisville, Mother Nature played a part in this one. In fact, they didn't even finish where they started. Let's go back and take a look at the boss victory over Louisville. The images are... Uh enjoyable to look at. I definitely think moving inside helped us. They play an aggressive zone for so for us to beat it we had to move the ball quickly and look for passes which obviously is harder when it's in the snow and so I think moving inside just gave us a little bit of a momentum swing that we were able to carry in throughout the rest of the game. It's definitely a once in a lifetime thing so it was fun but uh, not my favorite. I think we hurt ourselves a little bit with our yellow cards, but you know, in the second half, we really focused in. And if one person made a mistake, the next person was there to step up and make a play for them. And so I think we just kept that attitude the whole time going into overtime. Devin had a great draw, and then we were just able to finish the last play we needed to. Well, you know, this time of the year here in the Rocky Mountains, you know, that kind of thing's going to happen. How about that? You ever had a match that started in one spot and you had to go someplace else to finish? I actually have, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what happens when you play in areas like that? Good stuff, though. And the grounds crew, by the way, doing a great job with that. If we continue with Anthony Pham. You know, I think it's, it's good we have an Angie on the show here for a while. Give us uh, the viewers a little bit of sense of, of your roster, kind of your veterans, and then we'll talk about some of yep, your yep. younger players as well. Uh, so we have one graduate transfer this year. Uh, her name is Carolyn Pozo. She played uh, four years at Northwestern, and she's... Uh, been a you know great addition to the program. We have two seniors, uh, Kai Acton, who's from, who's a local product from Fort Collins, uh, Megan Forrester, who's our other senior. We have several juniors on the team: uh, Sophia Derivan, Marie Campos, uh, Antonio Balzert, and Eli Puzak. Two freshmen on the team as well: um, Mila Stanojevic, who's joining us from uh, Germany, and uh, Bettina Tokic from. Turkey. How do you find it since you become the head coach? How do you find recruiting to the University of Colorado from a tennis standpoint? Like I think we have a ton to sell here. You know, we're obviously uh, it's a beautiful campus, great academics, great facilities. I mean, Boulder's uh, you know always ranked one of the top places to live in the country. So yeah. I, I think it's one of those things, just uh, getting the name out, uh, getting people to know what we're trying to, to, to build here as a program and, and get people just excited about it. Yeah, so you've got what Boulder is all about, which is always a great selling point. And in the Pac-12, does, does that speak to people as well? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the Pac-12, I think, uh, you know, when you look at it across other sports, it's it's one of the the, the top conferences in the country, and women's tennis is, is no different. So well, we're excited. All right. Hey, congratulations yeah, to the thank you. on Sunday. Keep it the good work. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, tennis coach Anthony Pham joining us here at Buffalo Stampede. We put a wrap on the program this week. I'm Voice of the Bus, Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next time.